Ah, greetings, gentle viewer! Hey, howdy, howdy! There's a time limit. Already had to redo this whole thing up until now, which was a piece of cake because we keep a set of rotating saves in case weird problems happen. So that way, we, you know, we're fine. But that means that we can't sit around. So we've got to run and move fast, which is, you know, our great weakness. Speaking of running and moving fast, we're the bittersweet gamers. No, speaking of our great weakness, we're the bittersweet gamers. Jeez, Billy. And I'm We Squared. I'm the opinionator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we have Maki, so we can now move obstructions of uh, level one, I guess? Yeah, we ran around a bit too. It looks like we can use this to get outside. Which we need to get the door to the Dormito, so. Yeah. We gotta look around and we gotta find Monokumas. I'm terrified. Speaking of terrified, we already did that joke. <laughs> did you not see Kibo flying around fighting the Exosol? Oh, I didn't see him flying around. Yeah, no, he's over here. Oh, wow. Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Dodge roll! <laughs> Reference! <laughs> Uh, have fun over there, guys. Pew, pew! Man, he should have been able to take one out by now. Well, he's not doing a good job of distracting Jeez. them if one was inside the school. The school is slowly being destroyed. I wouldn't be surprised if the dorms fell. Uh, fell? Okay. They're not being, like, invaded. <laughs> All right, before That's that true. happens, Kokichi's room. I say the word Debris because I'm acting like I'm funny and I'm not. <laughs> Certainly not clever either. There it is. Ah, thankfully his door was unlocked. Now I guess we can get the... That's funny. Oh my... There's a horse head in his bed. <laughs> is he the ultimate mobster? Oh my god. <laughs> this is amazing. I, I see, I see. He's got the killers over there. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. So this is Kokichi's room. Here's where we'll hopefully be able to find that key card. Yeah, 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 yeah. <sighs> I don't know where he got all this stuff, but he hoarded a lot of things. <laughs> it's unsettling, but we should investigate it. Where'd he get a horse? <laughs> You're right. Right. We'll also have to save really fast so that the time doesn't go too far. Yeah, that's ridiculous. I mean, we can deal with it, it's no big deal. By investigating this room, we might learn more about Kokichi. He said that he was the leader of an organization opposed to the Gopher Project. That doesn't mean that he has any members. In that effort, he tried to take the position of the mastermind. The flashback light helped us remember that that organization was the remnants of despair, but that may be a lie. Kokichi was the leader of the remnants of despair? Not necessarily. There could have been more than one organization opposed to it. He assuming never... that was even true. Yeah, and he never acted like he enjoyed... Okay, he acted like he enjoyed the killing game, but he ultimately said he didn't, and I kind of think that was true. Yeah, I mean... That doesn't justify what happened in Chapter 4! No, you know. no, it doesn't. We're not trying to justify anything, but people are complex and contain multitudes. Yeah, You yeah, can't yeah. just go, I don't like someone, and then think everything about them is nothing but the worst. Far too many people do that, and it's, it's a terrible idea. Mm -hmm. Is that the real truth, <laughs> though? I feel as though there may be a... Because <laughs> we're in Kokichi's room. Why? In there. Save the game. Hate to do it like this. But that's how it be sometimes. He's got the freaking stairs from the aquarium. <laughs> oh, so we're just looking at it piecemeal. Okay, okay. So this is the hidden camera I set up in the library. And this is the inner tube that was floating in the pool. Oh. And the book from the cage child seance. And... Punk. He was gathering all the evidence from the past incidents? The murder weapons aren't here, but why on earth was he gathering all this? To learn about the types of things that Shuichi discovers, perhaps. Yeah, yeah. Perhaps. Yeah. No, it's pointless to try and understand what he was thinking. You're right. Perhaps you're right. Monopad and there's a drone. Box of documents! Box of documents! A stack of papers on it! Box of papers! 
There are several cardboard boxes, cardboard boxes. filled with stacks of paper. <laughs> hmm. These look like blueprints. Uh, so we have a beam saber, and I can't figure out that. That's, that's a, a gun of some description. That's like a, a Sentai gun. Yeah, yeah. Right? Is yeah, that, that looks it? like a Sentai gun. It's like a large, silly-looking gun that shoots multiple colors of energy uh -huh, that uh -huh. acts as the finisher and is always, like, way lamer than them just beating the crap out of the other guy. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Blueprints? This is stupid. They're mostly drawings of childish fancy fantasy <laughs> weapons, whatever they are, like ray guns and beam swords. Well... I wonder if the Electro Hammer and Electro Bomb blueprints are here. Maybe he drew whatever came to mind and then selected a few for Miu to create. I don't understand. Looking at everything, a lot of these childish designs seem impossible to create. That's... That might have been Kokichi's intention. Huh? His intention. Remember. He could have prepared a few fake blueprints to mask the real ones. Or he was just telling the truth and doing something that he found amusing. Yeah, yeah. And then, then afterwards, looked at them with a cold eye to figure out what would actually work. You can do silly childish things and enjoy them no matter how old you are. Um, the mere act of enjoyment is a childish activity. As children, we learn how to enjoy. It's not that it becomes less childish as we grow up. We need this childish ability to enjoy things, to deal with the horrors of life. Many people will then throw that away because it isn't mature or adult. And they are fuddy-duddies. <laughs> Watching the Super Bowl, that's a childish activity. Enjoyment is childish. That doesn't mean it's bad or makes you immature to like something. The C.S. Lewis quote about putting away, or was it T.S. Eliot? Well, whoever it was, putting away childish things when you become an adult. The, the point of that quote, which I can't quite remember, uh, 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 uh. the point of that quote was to say, so it's okay to, to enjoy childish things without being childish yourself. Yes, that was the whole crux of that statement. Ahem, it is nearly impossible <laughs> to check all of them, lowering the chance someone would find it. We're totally going to be reloading after we're done with this dialogue string. Hmm. If we don't, the time will pass, because we suck. You mean there might be something important hidden among this stuff, and this is just a strategy to use volume for obscurement? Well, why not? Right. And it's a possibility. We don't have time to look. Um... We, don't, we don't even have time to listen to BSG. Then I'll do it. Huh? No! I I need the power of friendship! <laughs> if you stay here, we can't break rocks! Maki took a seat in front of one of the boxes and began searching the blueprints. Uh, um... Maki? Thank you. Thank you, Maki. This is a lot of work. I'm counting on you. Okay. No problem. <laughs> I really appreciate that. So I think only a <laughs> Well, bye, Rontaro. I think only a specific increment of time passes when you click on something, but it doesn't pass while they're doing the dialogue. That's what it seems uh, to be. Except, except that la when we ended the last episode, it was like over here. Well, yeah, but we left it on the menu, didn't we? It shouldn't be the menu that that does it. Look, I'm just gonna reload anyway. Okay. We don't really know how it works. Whoa, we forgot to talk to her. So, what do we got? Hey. I wanted to ask you something. Huh? What is it, Maki? Well... Kaito believed Kokichi. He believed that someone's watching this killing game. What do you mean? What do you think? I'm... Kokichi does have a compelling point, though looking at that crazed little kid... It might be for the kids' entertainment, you know? Yeah, the, if, if, if he's crazy. Oh, yeah. Assuming we're interpreting everything correctly. Which we totally might not be. If he just, va well, it's like I'd said before, if you just value it for its own reasons, which are up to you, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. then, like, it doesn't have to make sense. That doesn't help us in any right. case. This killing game really only does make sense if there's an audience, even if it's just an audience of one. Why else would there be all of these rules designed to make it more interesting? Because it's just like Junko and Oshima's killing game from the past. Hmm. 
Morokuma is particularly strict about upholding the rules and livening up the killing game. Is it because someone's watching? But we're all that's left of humanity, aren't we? I don't understand. Even if he did say it was to show someone, no one else is alive anywhere else, right? I wonder if someone really did infiltrate this place. Uh, okay. That is a mystery. But all mysteries conceal some truth. There is still a truth to find, yada yada. Time limit moving. <laughs> Hope to spare. Oh! oh! That was important. Really? We can't look at the billboard? Come on! Oh, come on, guys! Well, whatever. Oh, no, no, then we can still look at the tablet. Oh, I see, okay. Hmm. It's a Cubs pad. They were given to all of us as motives during Kinobi's case. Oh, we can see his motive now. We should totally watch it. But the motive videos were switched up and we each got someone else's video. That's true. I don't believe this motive video is Kokichi's. Well, didn't Monodem put them all back in the right spot? Uh, I have no idea. I thought he offered to do that. I might well, be misremembering. We, we might have just interpreted that wrong. Mm -hmm. Then? Well, no, he, he, he brought some back. But whether he brought them back in the messed up way or the correct way or who knows, I don't know. Well, then there's no point in looking, is there? No. No, we should check. I want to know what he knew. It would explain his actions, or at least help to a little. When I touched my finger to the pad, the video started playing. All right! Back by popular demand, it's time for the motive video! And he got the correct one. Well, actually, that makes sense. He did go around and jank everyone else's. Nah. So, of course, he'd keep his. Who's the most important person in your life? And now, without further ado... What? Kokichi's... Kokichi Oma, oh! the ultimate supreme leader. My God! <laughs> yeah, this makes sense for his organization. <laughs> Silly, ragged Afro clowns. <laughs> he caused mayhem the world over as the leader of the secret organization, DICE. And by mayhem, I mean petty nonviolent crimes <laughs> and harmless breaks. <laughs> Fantastic. Anyway, Kokichi had 10 loyal goons working for him. These goons were like friends and family, the most important people in his life. Whoa. But then, a terrible event befell those precious people. There's only nine people. What kind of event? It's a secret. Find out for yourself. <laughs> so, he really didn't do anything bad at all? Well, not as the leader of DICE, anyway. Not as the leader of DICE. He most certainly killed Gota and me. Yeah, yeah. N no. So this was Kokichi's motive video? Why? Why did he have his own motive video? Did he exchange it with someone else? Or maybe he went through everybody's room, yeah. picked the lots, and got the Cubs pads? He brought them all to the insect meet and greet. So... He just kept his own? <laughs> no. Or maybe, by coincidence, he was given his own motive video from the start? Like Kirumi was. I see. So Kirumi wasn't the only one who got their own motive video. Well, either way, it doesn't matter anymore. That is true, but the content of that motive video is disconcerting. It's inconsistent with the information we already know about Kokichi. What? You mean the information that is being given out by the person who controls your memories may not be correct? You're just too wedded to the idea that he's a remnant of despair. What can I deduce from that? That he is not a <laughs> remnant of despair. Truth bullet found. You know, I, I never... I never actually counted in the first screen. I oh, there was only nine. I counted. In the first screen? Uh-huh. I know there were in the second, like, there in were. jail. So that means he was part of it. There's ten people. Well, yeah, but Monokuma mentioned ten goons. Would he consider himself a goon? 
we need to see the translation. Ah, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. And that's all, and it's like, is it, is, that's always going to be a concern in any language yeah. of who is this number inclusive of. Right, right, right. Are, are there 10 people in the organization or 10 people below the leader? I don't know. Anyway, I never thought that a motive video from Chapter 2 would become a concern now. Kokichi gathering all these pieces of evidence was coincidence, right? Uh, probably not. More. There's more. Ah, this is dangerous. You do to trigger uh, Maki looking at the boxes again. Oh, did I not do that? No. Oh. No, I just hadn't looked at the evidence. Ah! Hey. If you're done, you can leave. I'm going to check the blueprints. But... But friendship power! <laughs> we rely on you the most, especially in this situation. After all, you're Kaito's sidekick. Maki! <laughs> well... But before you go, I already found something strange that I want you to look huh? at. Something strange? Uh, um. <laughs> what is that? This is a will, isn't it? I believe this is a will because Kokichi wrote this isn't a will on it. Is this? I think it's a real will, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's fake. He was a liar after all. What, you, you want a notary? <laughs> but if it is real, why did he leave it? Could it be... He left us this information in case his plan failed. Huh? He did? I don't think he would do something like that. Wow. You should look inside, and we'll know more. When I opened the envelope... A boxing glove on a spring popped out and whacked me in the face. Ah, but I didn't even make a dirty joke! <laughs> Small pieces of paper fell out. Huh? The second message... The wall next to the boiler? Huh! The second message is on the wall next to the boiler in the rear garden. That should be where the entryway to the underground tunnel is, the death road of despair. That's all? It's probably another one of his horrible pranks. Hmm. I'm not sure about that. But... I should investigate just in case. It might be an important okay, clue. Okay, okay. Do what you want. Just quit wasting time this way. It'll be done before you know okay. it. Yeah. All right. I should head to the boiler in the garden. Uh, uh, I guess that'll be okay. <laughs> Gotta hurry. Ah, ah, ah! Uh, boiler. The boiler in the back. Okay, just making sure. Oh. Oh, nice! It is a gun. Don't don't mind us. I wonder if it shoots rivets or bullets. I mean, at the end of the day, it's the same thing, really. Well... A small piece of metal propelled at a high speed. Wall next to the boiler, what could it be? Perhaps it's just a prank? I don't think so. Has that uh, been there and we um, never noticed? Well... I don't know. That could very well have been. That's really interesting! Oh! This area used to be covered in grass. Okay, okay. But it's been completely removed. It shouldn't be hard to oh, find it now. Especially since it's written in like glow-in-the-dark bright white paint. Ah! Oh, I let out a gasp when I saw <laughs> it. That stupid ah that I do sometimes. Sometimes. Huh? Twins B. Twin sized bed? Is that like some type of artist name? Is this the second message? Well, you know, it's just... This world is mine, Kokichi, Oma, Twins, B? No, 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 this is only part of it. We need to find the other messages and put it all together, see? He's it... going all blue blanc on us. I see, I see. Not the Phantom Thieves, but the Phantom Thief. <laughs> huh. What could this mean? Written by Kokichi, other messages, then... read together, message incomplete. I was right, but which one is that? And it wasn't nothing, so it, was, it wasn't a clue either. So that was part of his... Yeah. No, it is! Horsa Twins B. Horse A, Twins B. Okay, so we need to go back and look at that horse in his room? Yeah, the horse head! 
twins, twins. Well, I don't think he's talking about like Mew's boobs or something. Ah, crap. Ah, we, we only have so much time. Yep, 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 yep. I know who that is. Shuichi Saihara, do you have your ultimate memory back? Yes. As the headmaster uh -huh. of Hope's Peak Academy, I want to ask you to please cooperate with the Gopher Project. Ah, I see, I see. So, he got the memory back before. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I... I do feel bad about this. I know how much you all wanted to run, even if it meant no longer being Ultimates. Those of you who have to live on like this might be the real victims here. But the only people who can go through with this project are you 16 who haven't been infected. Hmm. The fate of humanity rests on your shoulders. And maybe another body part. The fate sorry, of sorry. humanity? Sorry, sorry. Buff! Red! Red! Oh, I got hit in the face with a box I drove! <laughs> What's the point? Huh? <laughs> I oh. feel like you say that a lot, Headmaster. <laughs> of course he said! Huh? Even if this ridiculous mission is a success and we all survive, what's the point? Why try so hard to save the seeds of humanity? I don't understand. Perhaps you'll be the ones who will create that point. Huh? It's true that the situation you're all in is... <clears throat> it's true that the situation you're all being forced into is harsh. So harsh that you think it'd be better to just die. But I still want you all to live. For those of us who want to live, but can't. You 16 who can live are hope itself. So please, I don't want to see you give up hope. I want you to keep hope alive. Ah, ah my head. I've remembered something again. When that guy said, huh, it reminded me of when I go, oh, that's it. <laughs> we were at Hope's Peak, and we participated in the Gopher Project. At that moment, I heard something crumbling above me. And then you died. What's wrong? Are you all right? Why do you ask? <laughs> You're bleeding out of every orifice. <laughs> Keep uh, Okay. Yeah, I'm okay. <sighs> I'm sorry. I experienced a sudden flashback, and my hand slipped, and I blew up the boiler room. Why can't I see your armor? Because you, we've already established when I'm talking to you, it folds up. Uh huh. Then. Did you remember too, Kibo? But you're a robot. Why do you always do it at the same time as everybody else? Yeah. Yes, we were at Hope's Peak Academy, about to sign on for the Gopher Project. But... What is Monokuma thinking, having us remember that now? As I thought. He's probably trying to make us feel despair again. Despair? No, but these memories... He's trying to make us experience help! Are you alright? How is your investigation going? Will you be able to end the killing game your way, or will I have to murder you all? Uh, <laughs> We're um... doing great, Kibo! 
I really just started, but I found out some stuff. There's a lot of areas in this academy we haven't investigated. Hmm. Areas that you can't investigate? Hmm. So you're saying I need to blow up more of the school? Yes. Rontaru's lab is also inaccessible, thanks to Monokuma's ridiculous rule. Okay. That's right. I'm concerned about that, too. If only there was some way to get in. I know! I'll fly you up and yeet you through a window! Uh, that's fine, or you could just blow a hole in the door, the <laughs> wall, any of that would be great. Um... I will help you! Please don't kill me, though. <laughs> huh? Help me! Please don't kill me, though! <laughs> Logical. Oh, yeah, yeah! By destroying the door to his research lab so you can enter it. Well, that's... That really would be awesome. Also, can you fly us up there so we don't waste time unless there's hidden Monokumas on the way? Please. Then please head to his lab and I will meet you there. I will lend you my friendship power in the interim. I'm worried. But be careful. Monokuma will be after you for conducting an investigation without his permission. The Exosol may not kill you outright, but they will definitely try to stop you. Oh no! Okay. They're going to try to stop me! I mean, I suppose I could destroy them on my way up there. It's not like they can really dodge me in a hallway, but you know. Well, they haven't... They have, he hasn't been able to take any of them out Listen so closely. far. If things get dangerous, call me and I will deal with the Exosols! Huh? You're gonna help me, Kibo? Yes, yes, I am your friend! I am not your enemy. That is why I am helping you with your investigation and have threatened to kill you all if you're not dead by dawn. Yeah, thanks for that. But only until the time limit expires at dawn. You're such a good friend. <laughs> Friendship protocol, yes! Trans Am activate? Right? I suppose he's still hell-bent on destroying this hmm. academy, which I still don't think is really wrong. Anyway, you've changed, Kibo. Was it because of the situation, or because he can't hear his inner voice? Or because he learned to stop worrying and... Learned to love the pop? No, learned to love <laughs> science fiction and the fact that he's a robot. Right now, I should focus on Rontaro. He died before revealing his ultimate talent, but he also seemed to know more than we did. Hey, I have a question. This might sound a little weird, but... Does the term ultimate hunt ring a bell for anyone? Yeah. Before we even remembered that event, he knew about the ultimate hunt. But why? There might be a clue somewhere that will lead us to the mastermind. All right. I'm going to do everything I can. No giving up. I won't give up on hope. I need to keep hope alive. Isn't that like playing Darkest Dungeon 2? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And to do that, I need to get inside Rontaro's lab. What? The Kibo gun? Oh! Huh. That's amazing. Uh, time passed, time passed. Well, time's gonna pass, my friend. That is, in fact, the nature of time. Man, we don't have his friendship point. No, but we got a bitchin' Kibo gun. Okay, you can't use it there. Ah, <laughs> uh, the point's just to, like, get rid of Moto Kid. Which is something we can get behind. Also, you know, the scale is wrong. What do you mean? Eh, uh, yeah, Anxisol. Right, okay. Oh, seeing Kibo out there. Leave it to me, everyone! Compared to the size of the Edge of Soul. Ah, ah. <laughs> nah, he ran out of hit points and retreated. But I can't hit that. No, we have to go upstairs. Remember, we, have, we just go up the normal stairs to get to Rontaro's lap. Oh, that's right, okay. God, and, the, and four is there. We're gonna have time? So we, we need three to get to the library. Right, right. And we need four to access. Where did that go? I, I don't remember. And we can't open a map. Right, right. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> hey, how do we know you're not responsible for leaving that horse head in Kokichi's bed? Leave it to me, everyone. Ha! <laughs> 
Cops! Get out of here! I mean, we could have just cut through Keo's lab, I guess. Hey! <laughs> Moonwalking! Uh, uh. Montano's lab. If Kibo breaks down this door... That's awesome! <laughs> Shuichi! Thank you for waiting! <laughs> that was one hell of an entrance! Listen closely. I will destroy this door at once! Please stand back, Shuichi! Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. See, the wing is blocky. That doesn't make sense to me. Uh, please. Well then, I leave the rest to you. If there is anywhere else you would like to access but can't, please call me. Noted. I will blast open an entrance just like I did for you now. And as soon as he came, hmm. Kibo left. Anywhere I'd like access. Yep. If I can go anywhere with Kibo's help, there's one particular <laughs> room. Does that mean that I could get him there too? No. No. Rontano's case first. I need to investigate his lab and somehow find Himiko and Sumugi so I can get two more points. Yeah. We've never seen a two, but we've seen a three on the way walking to that place. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Okay. Oh my! I'm finally in. So this is Nantaro's lab. But what kind of room is this? It's almost frightening. Hmm. What was his talent? I thought I'd understand once I came here, but... How did you get in here? Oh. I don't get it at all. What are you do? How? Oh, here we go! Hey, Suichi. Was that explosion the sound of you breaking down this lab's door? That's pretty drastic. Did you just follow me after I've been breaking rocks? No. No? Uh, that, that wasn't me, it was Kibo. <laughs> but what even is this place? It's got an awful atmosphere. Okay. It looks like some kind of puzzle room. Then... So maybe he was the ultimate quiz king and he got that title by winning game shows. No, I, I think it's more likely that something something radical six, <laughs> something hmm. something zeros and nines. Ah, uh, I don't know. We can investigate That's first. That's fine. Then I shall help you. Don't ask how I got here. <laughs> no. Be happy. The legendary mage is your sidekick. Quit acting like an old hag. You're a cute teenage girl. Okay. But that does make me feel better. <laughs> Okay. What in God's name. Oh, thank God. There's only two things to interact with. Well, three if you got Himiko. Himiko is not a thing. So Kibo was the one who broke down the door to this place. But now Kibo is a completely different person from the guy who hated looking sci-fi. Right. He stopped denying everything about himself. No. Or... Actually, I guess I should say he's a completely different robot now. Yeah? Yeah? Maybe. I see. That Kibo isn't the real one. It's probably his spare, K2-B1, a.k.a. K2B. K2B! <laughs> uh, um... um, I don't think so. He doesn't have a spare. He's the same K2B, Kibo. <laughs> But it's true that he's changed quite a bit. <laughs> Katoopy! <laughs> so the vault and the thingy. Which first? The vault. Vault. We don't got time to waste. A and B. Um, horse is A and B twin is, is B. twin. Yeah. Is this a vault? But it doesn't look like a normal vault. Oh, okay, it's got Chinese constellations and uh, the more traditional constellations. Twin! Twin B, horse A! A Virgo, or a Gemini Dude. for B, and the year of the horse for A. Did you just realize that? That's Shut what up. I said a second ago. Shut up. This fault door looks like a puzzle! Look at the two dials! Hmm. 
Hmm. The dial on the right is labeled A, and it has a bunch of Chinese zodiac animals on it. Right. There is a clue somewhere in the academy. <laughs> And the one on the left is labeled B, and it has a bunch of different astrological signs on it. So it looks like if we move both of the dials to the right things, the vault um, will open. It says something about a hint somewhere in the academy. Yeah. I've got it figured out. Was there really a hint? Yes. <laughs> okay, let's look at that other thing first. It'll be okay. Well, we don't need to think so hard. We just gotta try every combination. That'll take like two years. How about that? So if there's 12, 12 Chinese though. zodiac animals and 12 astrological signs, then it's just 12 times 12. 244, I think? No, 144. Oh, 144. Uh, um... Too many to try all the constellations at random. Not really, actually. Right. 144 is pretty easy. What was that? Then do you know the answer? Because I don't get it at all. Hey. Let's see here. Horse A. <laughs> Hey, Suichi. I know I yelled at you just now, but talk to me when you're stuck. With my magic. That should help you have an epiphany. I am a legendary mage after uh, all. Okay. Uh, thank you. I'm contributing. Okay, I will inspect dial. Can't app, 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 app. Let's look at the computer. Time running out. Hmm. A laptop, huh? Oh. This looks promising. My magic's telling me this is important. You're right. There might be a clue in here. I should check. Looks like it still works. I should see what's on here. Hmm. Huh. What's the matter? Uh, um... It's empty. What's that mean? Empty? What do you mean? No. There's no data in it at all. Oh, my. What? Why put a laptop here if it doesn't even have anything interesting on it? I don't know. You're right. Seems like that's the case. But... <laughs> no, but my magic reacted to something. I guess we get the thingy from the vault and then we put it in the laptop. Ah, oh, yeah, that makes sense. There's gotta be something. Check it better. Check it better? Anyway, what was that about magic? Whatever, I know the answer. <laughs> um, right dial. Rotate. No, no, there we go. Oh my god! All right! It opened! Yeah. I don't know how, but it opened! But, uh, what did all this mean? Is that all right? The hint in the academy is the message that Kokichi wrote, meaning that he got in here already and possibly even placed this in the vault? Right? But that message was from, like, the very beginning. How could Kokichi have gotten in here? You know? Maybe... I don't know. Right? Maybe a coincidence? Oh, no, 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 no. How could Kokichi have gotten here? Unless he already knew from the beginning. Huh. If I remember correctly... The original message was written over. Remember. When Gonta first saw it, it just said Horse A. Kokichi added more to it. Unless hmm. Kokichi wasn't the one who wrote it. Ron Taro may have wrote both messages and Kokichi found them. That's possibly the case, yeah. Anyway, that was just a diversion. Okay. Horse A was actually the complete clue. Oh my! Oh, I see! So the A dial should be on the horse. We were, we were thinking it was the horse hmm. mask. <laughs> so the Chinese zodiac on dial A was horse. The other hint was hidden in the rear garden. Remember. Twins B. I see. I don't know why you said remember. I wasn't there. Got it. So the B dial should be on Gemini. And thus it was. That's it. The astrological zodiac on dial B was Gemini. You were happy. Yeah. So that's what it meant. Thanks to your deductions, everything's all cleared up. Why? But... Why did Kokichi add all that stuff to it? That's true. He was trying to make himself seem like he was the mastermind. He needed us to believe it. He was trying to be the mastermind. Uh... Yeah, causing us problems even after he's dead. He's such a pain. Um, let's see what's in the vault. 
If it was this difficult, difficult to get in there, there must be something important inside. <laughs> I'm getting nervous. Is it okay if I barf first? What color is it gonna be? Huh? Do you feel nauseous when you're nervous? <laughs> Uh, time, 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 time. Peeked into the open vault, hmm. found USB stick. That monokuma pattern must mean there's something here, but how do we check inside? I could use the thingy in the lab. We stick the doo, bab, and doo, bap, do, and derf, bap, and okay. doo, gak, and say the words, USB stick. There's no operating system, found a file. Could it be? A video. I opened the file, and... Uh, it's, it's probably the, that video we saw. Yeah. Exactly. I was going to say hey that there. myself. Guess I don't have to introduce myself, huh? I see. Do you think Kokichi? No, this is this is Rontaro for Rontaro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Taken by surprise, I gasped and stopped the video without thinking. Hey! W what is this? Sorry. That... That was Rontaro, right? I think... He probably recorded it here before he died. No. No, that couldn't be the case. The video was clearly recorded in Rontaro's lab. If I remember correctly... But we were only able to get inside this room just now. Yeah. Well, no. We've talked about the looping. Mm -hmm. We just never understood how something like that could be. Right. And then I even was like, well, I guess it must not have happened, but if he recorded it from this lab, then... Right. It was supposed to open up after Gota's case, but because Rontaro was already dead, it was locked permanently. But thanks to Kibo, we were able to get inside. But... Knowing all of that, how could Rontaro have recorded a video in this room? That, that might be true, but shouldn't we check the video first? Uh, okay. Yeah, right. I turned to the laptop once again, and with a trembling hand, I played the video. I get that this is probably pretty confusing seeing yourself like this. Guess I should start from the beginning. By all means! First things first, I am you. No tricks, no actors. It's you. A reason you don't remember recording this is because that memory was erased. Okay, so it's maybe not... So it's, it's the second thing of there's nothing like looping, we just interpreted that data wrong appears to be the correct answer. Think of this video as a message from the Rantaro before you lost your memory to the Rantaro after you lost your memory. A message you never got. So, let's get to it then. The reason I recorded this footage. I won the right to a special perk for participating in the killing game. He agreed to it. Yeah. Part of that perk is this video message. Monokuma said he was going to make some kind of puzzle for you. But the fact that you're watching this means that you've solved it already. So the puzzle was just... It was Monokuma. Yeah. Also, you can't share this with anyone. If you catch Monokuma shooing anyone away from you, that's why. There's another part to this perk. Something you get at the start of the game. I bet you know what I'm talking about. Something you've had from the start, yeah? Now, I thought that if you were smart, you'd have used it to end the killing game. But if you're watching this, that obviously didn't work out. The card key. Uh, or Ron something like that? But Rontaro didn't have one. He didn't have one on him. He had his tablet, but... I'm wondering if... That means that Monokuma might have just taken it. I don't know. Life's never easy, huh? Well, anyway, that's the perk. Other than that, you're just like all the others. We need to go to his room and see if the card key is there. Yeah. You go in, they wipe your memories, and you start killing. That's the way it is. Now, Monokuma probably already told you this, but just in case. This killing game will continue until there are only two people left. Now, the important part of that rule is that... <laughs> Looks like they didn't want me saying that, huh? Huh. Guess you'll have to solve that little mystery. But hey, you're smart. I know you can do it. Oh, there is one more thing. Well, the truth is, this isn't your first killing game. Yeah go on a bit more is that does that mean that he won a previous one 
Yeah. Or survived it. You're the ultimate survivor. You survived the last killing game. Huh. That's why you get this perk. The survivor perk. But it's not all fun and games. Anyone who finds out who you are is gonna come for you. So watch your back. Trust no one. <laughs> the ultimate survivor didn't make it out. Didn't survive chapter one. Yeah. And never forget. You wanted this killing game. So you have to win, no matter what. So there are other people. Yeah, yeah. Which was one of the options that we always had in mind. No matter what. Well. Huh? <laughs> what is this? This isn't the first killing game. A killing game that he wanted. What's that mean? Sweetie, what did all of that mean? Who was Rontaro Hamami? If I remember correctly, he said he survived the last killing game, and that video is part of the survivor perk. Then, he was the ultimate survivor, an expert at death games. Why? Then, then why did he die so quickly? Because I figured out what he was going to do, and Kaede killed him. Remember. Remember what he said. Anyone who finds out who you are is gonna come for you. What's that mean? The one that was coming for him? Was he talking about Kaede? No. She didn't know Nantaro's identity. She thought he was the mastermind. Hmm. Then... Who is the one that knew Rontaro's true identity? I guess Kokichi, wouldn't it be? He knew about the vault. Oh no, we already... No. Yeah, sorry. Could it be... The real mastermind would have known. Then... It, in other words, the mastermind hidden in this academy set up Rontaro to be killed? Huh. Keep in mind that that Monokuma or this like evil Makoto kid. The anti Makoto. Uh, he, the way he acted towards Nantaro, he hated him. He only referred to him a few times, but it was like with utter contempt and disgust. Yeah. Uh, okay. I believe so. Well. For now. Hmm. And, and he said he wanted this killing game. Why would he want that? Jeez. If he hadn't done such a stupid thing, he probably wouldn't have been killed. Another killing game? That means there was already a prior one? Why was he even participating in the first place? What was the other killing game? Because the killing game is... I don't know. Uh, there was another thing. Ron Taro said his survivor perk had another part, right? Yeah, the part where we need to... Well, Go to his room. Yeah. Well, what was that other part? You're right. He said he had it at the start of the game. But when we found his body... If I remember correctly... All he had on him was his room key and the motopad. But that doesn't mean that Monokuma didn't snatch it from him. True, true. And that motopad was the same student handbook we had. Uh, it's not like he ever pulled out a card key or anything. Right. But he hadn't gone to the door. Yeah, he was advancing on the door when the camera went off. Then... Then it might still be left in his dorm room. Okay. It could be. I never imagined Rontado, the first victim, would come up again like this. But he was obviously really <laughs> important, which is why Damon keeps giving him an important place in the outro videos. <laughs> oh, no! Flashback! Did you like my flashback noise? No. No, I didn't either. Yo, Shuichi! <laughs> I heard you're finally gonna take part in the Gopher Project. I yeah. Okay. <laughs> Are you okay? Are you sure you're not overdoing it? Are you okay? Obviously not. Why is he bothering with a mask? Aren't they all gonna die? You're the one who's overdoing it. You should be resting at home. You know I can't do that. I 
don't know how much longer I'll be able to go to school. So it's important for Classmate 2 to show up here at school and spread it around to everybody. Well, I mean, if, if it's gonna spread anyway. It won't get any better if I rest anyway. Hope's Peak Academy is working hard to create an antivirus. Meaning that it may have happened and we just don't know about That's it. That's true. That's because true. the truth has been hidden from us. Perhaps the fact of the matter is, there is no reason that there would be no farking atmosphere on a planet. Yeah. So the place where we've landed was either a stage, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. a set, yeah. Yeah. or we're just somewhere else. That happens to have a ruined city. Maybe that was put there, constructed by the monocubs. Oh yeah, that makes sense. They don't need to breathe. But that's true, that's true. And they're white construction robots. Yeah, no, I didn't, you hadn't even thought about that. And that way at the end we can fly back towards Earth because the Future Foundation has saved the world. Yeah, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Doesn't all that make sense? Yeah, that sounds good, that sounds good. We, I mean, we've honestly had kind of a pretty good handle on the whole game so far. There's a lot of specific things we got wrong, but we, uh, we're thinking along the right lines. Yeah, yeah. Even if they do find a cure, the meteorites are still gonna be a problem for us. Hey, man, don't look so sad. You're about to go on an adventure, right? Now that I think about it, <laughs> 16 boys and girls going on a space trip together. You guys gonna do it? It depends. What are you guys talking about? Like how many people are left? Congrats, Shuichi. I heard there are some hot girls there. I told you, don't look so sad. Red! I don't know if I can stand it. I'd have to leave everyone behind. You have to go. I'm begging you. Huh? <laughs> Shuichi, you're our pride, you know that? They've all resigned to living vicariously through him. Yeah. <laughs> uh, especially number two. Yeah, you have to do it. For us. We're leaving everything to you. If things get too rough, then just remember all the fun times we had together. So, don't give up. You're our hope. I'm everyone's... Uh, uh, that, that memory... <laughs> it sounded like Sean Chiplock. <laughs> Why did I have to remember my friends now of all times? I was friends with Sean Chiplock? Who's Sean Chiplock? Uh, um... This is Monokuma's doing. He made us remember this. But why? Why make us remember that? Is it to make us suffer? We have no way of knowing what his goals are. Yeah. That memory is no cause for despair. Right. He's building us up so he can defeat us at our peak. Hope's peak. Uh, the peak of hope. Okay, you're fired. <laughs> That's Keep right. Keep no Cholten. <laughs> There's no way we can give up. I promised I'd do my best for them. Keep all Sonomorora. So there's no way I can give up. Sore koso kiboda. Keep all no Cholten. What are you on about? I, I don't really know. Okay. So we're looking for the other part of Ron Taro's survivor perk, right? Leave it to me. Yeah, I'll check every nook and cranny of this room with my magic, of course. Okay. Pulls out like a dowsing rod. You you get on with that then. Breathing hard, Himiko ran off. What does all of this mean? What are lies? What is the truth, and why is BSG moving really fast? It's kind of awkward, you know? What is? Moving really fast. Uh, yeah, it's so alien. There's no time to be standing around. We only had until dawn to investigate, and worse comes to worse, we'll have to reload and do it all over again. Inspect That's every true. inch. Go there next. Kibo destroys door. Should be able to get in there. But we can't go down unless we have... Shuichi! Oh. Ah! Shuichi! I finally found you! Huh? Tsuugi, what's wrong? Something uh, bothered me! <laughs> Is something bothering you? Um, I was checking Kaito's research lab up on the sixth floor, but... What is this? Kibo's attack demolished a wall of the school and caused a new room to appear! The hell is that? A new room! Uh, um... A new room? A new room! Yeah! And it's a really weird room, too! Anyway, come with me! 
we have time for this? Tsumagi spoke almost encouragingly, then hmm. walked on ahead. Weird room, can't ignore that. Go there net later. Head since you know what I, I know what I'm saying. Well, now we've got now we'll have her at the end of all that, so and we'll then be we able can go to, to the yeah. library. Yeah. But which way do I go? Downstairs. What? No, down the stairs. There. Ah! I actually do appreciate this. <laughs> Time limit and everything. It's even pressured BSG to move through it quickly. You know. <laughs> Well, that, and there's not much point in, like, interrupting everything. Yeah. We, we're going to continue to be getting information, so... And this is really interesting. Yeah, and we've... Uh... Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, that way leads to the New World Order. Oh, no, no, it doesn't. That's up to four. Where does that lead? Jeez, we can't check the map. I don't know where four leads, but it will, it'll be a place that we were directed to... Yeah, it probably is... No? Oh, no, no, oh. turn around, turn around, turn around. Oh, you're you right. Period. Yeah. Um. Ah! Why are you an idiot? Leave it to me, everyone. He just, like, did the incoming kind of push. And... Man, I'm so glad that it turns out that we have every reason to be suspicious of all these different things. <laughs> yeah. Hey! Uh, also, you know, we've kind of called, even if we weren't correct, we've called a lot of the things mm -hmm. that we should be suspicious of, and finally, they're they're not lying. All right, yeah, finally, they are. They're, they are lying to us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or what am I doing? Not here. No, no, yeah. Oh, 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 I see, I see, I see. Um, like, I just couldn't believe it how in Dongon Ropa 1, it was just, they didn't lie to us. Yeah, right? Like, like at all. Yeah, we thought that they were lying from the start. The new room. It must be that room. Oh, um, seems like. Yeah, the I... room that's got those very suspicious capsules in it. Right? This room's really weird, isn't it? Yeah, I can't figure it out. There's eight on one side. I bet okay. the other side has eight more. Yep. I will try looking around. Let us talk first. I, you missed. How did I miss so? Oh, well, whatever. Cold sleep room, eh? Well, we knew there was something uh, like this. Um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. Hey. Right? This room is really weird, isn't it? I already said this line. Could it be? I suppose it's possible that we. Wow, we're uh, just jumping right to it. Blah, 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 blah. We we were gonna end the episode a second ago, but now we have to go through the memory. Now we knew that we had been in cold sleep. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we knew a couple hundred years had passed, at least in terms of what we were told. Right, right. Hey, are they gonna pull the ending of Gunbuster on us? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, well okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I was really confused. Let's begin then. I don't know why I need cold sleep, but here we go. Yeah, you're a robot. It, whatever. You know what? No, we're done. So, there. Man, if the ending is the ending of Gunbuster... That would be crazy. Kind of would be. And it's really possible. We'll let you know. ラッテ。ふざけあっても何か価値がある。何か足りない。誰にも言えないこと。答え探してみても何か正しい。何が間違い。ゆらゆらゆれるまよう吹き飛ばせ星の